I do hope you're doing well. Well, we haven't seen Savers on here for a very long time. Savers was actually the very first haul I'd done on my channel back in April of last year, April, May. And you know what? Since the one and only, we haven't been back. Well, I have, but with Savers, because my store's not really a big one, it's never really enough for a haul. But we went in there today and may have got a little carried away and ended up trying to lift one of these for a thumbnail oh my god you ready yeah we got three huge bags filled so yes savers you haven't been on the channel but you was the original haul my lovelies you was the original haul the one to start it all off and then we had your home barkings and your b and m but we are kicking it back we're having a savers haul and yeah, there's not much else to say. So yes, get comfy and let's see what savers have got to offer because I was very surprised and hence why I got carried away. <laughs> right, let's start. Let's start with the lightest bag, shall we? Because these two, mm -mm, they're too heavy for moi. So we spent, let's have a look, £45.40, which quite a lot for savers. I'm not going to lie quite a lot for a haul in general normally poundland will be what 30 to 35 i'd normally spend home bargains and b&m yeah i'm not gonna lie i do get carried away in them but normally savers is like i go in 20 25 quid but yes uh 45 40 i did get a couple of expensive bits though which we shall go through but kicking it off for 99p we just needed a, another jumbo kitchen towel nothing to say really quite a bog standard but oh i wish i'd got that on camera it's literally fallen through the whole of my bed onto my record down and down like a little bit of tetris but hey -ho. right you will have seen these not just in the savers hall because b and m have actually started to do this oh there's a bubble bubble can you see that i don't know if it's going to come up oh my god bubble let's put it against my top oh and then bubble popped so we have for 99p you know the drill it's pink it's got a unicorn on it's 99p it's by the brand easy and it's just our washing up liquid we may or may not have another one in here i think i picked one up last month at b&m and yeah, I picked up another two when we was there because you can never have enough washing up liquid, especially in these times, my lovelies. Right, what else have we got? These are a classic. If you go to Savers and don't pick these up, what are you doing? They're one pound, they are called Bliss Body Mist. I pick up the watermelon and grapefruit and the strawberry and kiwi. And my god these are perfect just for chucking in your bag i always keep one in my car and when you just want that freshen up or i don't know you just want the car to smell a bit nicer <laughs> and you are good to go so when i saw these picked them up because i've run out and what i'm currently using i think is like my vs sprays which don't really want to be spending uh some quite expensive money on vs sprays just to be spraying it in my car let's face it so savers was fab for that and then what else have we got right i don't know why i think mum picked these up for dada she got loads of air fresheners because best believe i do not need any more car air fresheners because i have a boot and a box in my boot filled with them so i believe these were one pound each she got a vanilla, a bubble berry, and two wild cherries. So if you know anyone who needs a car air freshener, I don't really get these ones because not gonna lie, I don't really like the tree shape. But for Dada in the works fan, hey, he's not gonna moan at a tree air freshener. But I like my ones in my little cute shapes, you know? Just a little bit cute. Oh my god, I am freezing. Sorry if you see me like he. <gasps> 
shivering, but I am cold. We've got the heating on, but as you know, I disconnected my radiator to fit the dressing table behind you. So my only warm thing here is candles. I do have a convector heater, but she's currently buried under quite a lot of stuff at the moment. So I think straight after this video, I will be going and putting my dressing gown on and having a nice warm bath. And on the topics of baths, please don't shout at me. Did I need any more? No. I saw it. And you know what I'm like, if I see it for a quid, oh, I just get carried away. And I absolutely love the scent. It is Carex. It's Little Miss Princess. It's a special edition. Well, fun edition, it says. And it's Sherbet Lemon. And oh my God. Yes, if you'd have seen... Uh, what was it? Lost me track now. Panshop.com. That will part two will be coming next week. Next week, keep tuned. Uh, is it next week? Next week or week after? Within the next two weeks, I picked up the sherbet lemon anti bag. I actually picked up two of them because you're gonna see another one in the haul. But absolutely love the scent. So when I saw the big shower gel of it, and it was a pound. I just kind of slowly put it in oh no okay we've got a little sherbet lemon family going on here i also picked up the sherbet lemon carex i thought i actually picked this up in the berry one but obviously i didn't so actually that could look quite cute in the bathroom but hey ho all of this stuff is so necessary at the moment so yes I'm not mad about it. And oh, I've got another one as well. This is, <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be allowed to go into a bargain shop. So we've got Imperial Leather, Polynesian Paradise and Sweet Peony Pampering Hand Wash. Never had this one before. I'm not going to lie. I just got it because it was pink and I thought we're coming into spring. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Not too flowery, but you can tell it's a little bit floral so yes that was a pound as well absolute bargain and then picked up a bog standard roll-on for one pound i absolutely love dove dove is the only roll-on that i will use pomegranate the cucumber and the lemon one are like my go-to's don't don't mind the pear one but that is one of my top three. Oh my god i feel like i'm gonna sneeze the sneezing in the video is oh, back, my lovelies. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, yeah. I do still feel like I am coming down. Well, I feel like I've been coming down for quite a few weeks now with a cold. And every time I think like it's going, it slowly wiggles its way back, which is fabulous. So, I will be doing a pamper day. We're going to have on Valentine's a self love vlog. A day of self-care, a day of self-love. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to word it, but it's literally just going to be a day where I know a lot of us, if we're not able to be with our partners because of lockdown, it is going to be hard. It's going to be different for me, I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to be focusing my time and my attention on me. So the plan for tomorrow, because obviously I couldn't film it on Valentine's and upload on Valentine's. So tomorrow is going to be my self-care day which of course on top of all of my skincare i still needed a new bit of skincare i picked up this now i've had the eye tissue masks before i think i had them in the orange scent but this is the green tea and hyaluronic acid the garnier eye tissue masks now these were 175 but i liked it because it's a skin cooling effect and lately my skin has been very irritated i don't know if it's because of wearing the masks but it just feels irritated and most mornings i'm very flushed and like it's not good so i thought when we do our little pamper day and self-love day of course self-care self-love it's got to include a bit of skincare in it so yes i was very happy with that bag one done <laughs> And we're on to our last bag and I'm getting slowly consumed by products. Everything is tipping, everything is moving. What have we got in here? Ah, we've got our second box of live XXL. So hopefully, when am I going to do that? Maybe next weekend. I'm not going to do it on the self-care day because self-care, I want to 
feel good about myself and I just keep remembering myself in that vlogmas episode where I had my shower cap on and my stained t-shirt and I just looked an absolute mess I don't know why I ever went on the internet like that if you haven't seen that that will be in one of my vlogmas episodes I leave it down there up below it's in like my autumn winter or welcome to my life vlogs playlist so yes if you want to laugh go there ah oh. Dada called me when I was out and he was like, oh my God, I need washing up liquid. So I was like, okie dags and picked him up this bad boy. This was two pound fairy clean and fresh pink jasmine. So that should keep him going for quite a while. When mum takes that to him, he's probably going to be like, why on earth has she got something that big? I just needed a little bit of washing up liquid. That will probably last him like, what, three, four months? He's got it now. It's stopped up. And then... Yay! My voice was so funny there, but as you can tell, I'm clearly excited by this. Yes, this one is more like of an apple scent, but it is the easy washing up liquid once again, but it's the sloth. And one of you lovely ladies reminded me that the blue one was toucan. Couldn't find any toucan in there, but hey ho. And then, right. Don't shout at me once again. It's got a Christmas sticker on, but I could not get something like this anywhere at Christmas time. All the air freshness, everything was just out of stock. So I picked up the Vanilla Cookie Febreze Fabric Refreshener. Now this was £1.50. You've even got your little cute reindeer sticker on here. So yeah, we're just going to sneak this by because I don't think Mum's seen it because more than likely she would have mummed about it. Like why are you buying Christmas stuff? We're not in Christmas. But yes, this is going to go with the winter spice warming spice fabulosa no not fabulosa shan floella and yes we're we're a little bit stocked up for the seasons ahead she says as when she does her pan shop.com haul you will see i got more christmas scented zafloras fabulous so on the terms of fabulous fabulosa oh my god it's called fruity patootie and when I saw this, you know, I just had to have it. It is, I think, does it tell you? No. That's fabulous. But I get like peaches, guava, mango, just like really tropical vibes. So I'm hoping that I will be spraying my room with that, making it all fabulous, and that I actually get a holiday this year. Because the way it's going, who knows? I'm not due to go out to October. But, fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed, we can get out there. What is your opinions on travel as well at the moment? Because part of me is thinking, you know what, we might be lucky enough because we're going on later in the year. And then part of me is thinking, shall I brace yourself because I don't think you're going to be out there again this year. Please let me know your thoughts on it, my lovelies. And then, oh, I knew mum needed bleach, so I picked up... You know, the good old clean and fresh. I couldn't find the pink one, so picked up the citrus burst one. Not going to sniff that because I think that could cause some damage. And then, right, I didn't really need this, did I? No, I don't even do, like, the washing. And we haven't even got a washing machine. So why did I pick this up? Who knows? It was £1.49, and it's the Fabulosa Disinfectant Laundry Cleanser up to 20 washes and it goes on a cold 20 degree wash it's in fruity patootie too so it matches the spray but i just saw this and i thought i know we don't have a washing machine mum goes to the laundry but mum does do quite a bit of washing by hand so like underwear hosiery bras etc etc any like special jumpers or clothing that i get a bit funny about going in a washing machine she'll do by hand and i thought you know what this could work and it would make my clothes smell fruity patootie so yes i picked this up for 150 um when i take this into and be like surprise i got you sent for the washing she's either gonna be happy or she's gonna be like why have you bought that what a waste of 150 but hey ho if not i'm sure she can take it to the laundrette and use it like put it in the machine or something who knows and then our last last product my lovelies i'm so happy that i finally managed to get this because 
the only ones I've been able to get is floral bloom now I was gonna say I didn't think I was gonna be able to get in there then right how does this work you're probably thinking Shane you're so dramatic but right yes we had just before christmas i think it was like the floral one and that's all i ever find but i finally managed to pick up the duck fruitopia this is deep action gel the stuff you put around your toilet i think i did see the clip on but i think mum still got quite a few of them so i was like i'm not gonna get that i'm just gonna sneak that in and we'll put it at the back and she'll never know but yes i am filled with you know what quite a lot of spring fall colors We've got pinks, reds, citruses, yellows, pinks. It's been a good haul. So my lovelies, three bags and 45 quid later. I think we've got quite a good bit. Considering my razors were 2 dollars 4.79 each. So almost £12.50 on three things weren't too bad. So it's just over 30 quid for the rest of the bits and bobs. That's like a normal, that's like a normal little haul for me for like Panland or Savers or anything. Might try and do a pan stretcher. My pan stretcher is closed at the moment, but I think it is reopening very, very soon. They've been doing a lot of refurb work. Even though I think their class is essential, they've had the store closed. So if you want to see a pan stretcher haul, do let me know because I do love a good bit of pan stretcher. Fabulous. And then, yes, I may have got a bit OTT with the Floellas, but we've got some new Fabulosa sprays. We've got a couple of winter 2021 bits already don't moan we've got obviously the hair dye to try and sort this barnet out these to try and do the council's maintenance work for them and a lot of cleaning bits it's been quite a cleaning thing oh no got my skincare anyway i'm waffling as per if you did enjoy the video you know what to do my lovelies hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment of your favorite bit from the haul as always or if you're savers please do let me know if you have a local savers that is quite large because mine is literally probably the size of my bedroom it is so tiny and as i say that's why it's very hit and miss but this time well done to savers for smashing it out of the park what was your favourite bit? What's your favourite scent? Is there anything you'd let me know? Can you get the vanilla cookie? I really want to try and get that in the air freshener, but I can't get it anywhere, which is absolutely amazing. But yes, I just need to go and put all this away now and try and hide all of these florillas under the sink before mum realises. But hey-ho, it's all fun and games, ain't it, my lovelies? But savers, I think, will be making an appearance furthermore on the channel because when it's right it's right when it's not it's not and i'm hoping fingers crossed this is the path for a good old savers future haul with many more to come but yes i'm rambling as always standard will i ever learn anything in 2021 about rambling no probably not but yes take care and i shall see you all in the next one guys bye